Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Spohr and I am a co-op ambassador as well as an ambassador for the Engineering Career Development Center, ECDC. Who here has heard of co-op before or seen one of our other presentations? No one? Okay, perfect. I love it. Uh, so if you haven't heard of co-op before, what it uh, kind of is is an extended internship. So you'll be doing three alternating semesters with the company. So for example, I started the summer after my sophomore year and then I came back to school in the fall. I went back to work in the spring. I traveled that summer, finished my last term with work in the fall, and now I'm back here at Alabama finishing up my last three semesters of school. So the benefits of doing a co-op over an internship is that you get to spend an entire year with the same company. So, you know, your first semester might be sitting in meetings and kind of learning the lingo of the industry. And at least by my third rotation, I was able to gain a lot more responsibility. I was actually able to start my own or manage my own projects. It was several different construction uh, playground projects throughout a school district. So I would be on the site every day, uh, my boots in the dirt and kind of managing the construction of these playgrounds. And I was also able to um, go to other projects and see what was going on at other places while still having my own set of responsibilities. So why co-op? Let me tell you what everyone says. Number one is the money. Um, it's not gonna be minimum wage that they're paying you. These jobs are paying you competitive wages. So last year, the average salary was $19.46 an hour, which is, I think, unbelievable. Um, and usually every semester that you come back, your company might offer you, offer you a little bit of a raise. Um, so for me, that was a dollar a semester. Other companies, they may not, but you know, it's a possibility. Number two, I like to think of co-op as extended interview and training. So once you graduate from school, your company, if they liked you, um, they might offer you either a job or offer you um, another interview. And the reason that these companies like to hire co-ops is because they know how you fit in the company. They know that you know the industry and how their company culture works. So it's kind of like you've already been trained for a year. And if you are what they're looking for and if they've seen good work out of you over your three semesters, then um, hopefully you know they'll offer you a job. Number three, I like to think of co-op as starting your career while you're still in school. Um, so it's really nice to go out there and develop yourself professionally, learn what it's like to work in an office or in the field, and then still get to come back to school, kind of relax a little bit, go back to classes. And you know, you've made a lot of money. You can go out with your friends, buy them dinner, maybe impress them a little bit. So some logistics, it does push back your graduation. Um, personally, I don't think that's too much of um, a bad thing because <laughs> most of my friends aren't graduating in four. You know, there's a lot of people who do STEM or accelerated masters or they're staying for, you know, an extra two years. Most people don't graduate in four. So don't think that, you know, you're, you're losing a lot of time because in reality, you're gaining so much ex uh, professional experience that not any other student has. And that's so important for when you're going out there and trying to find a job. So it does push, push back your graduation, but you know, it's, College is great, why would you wanna leave as soon as you can? So some other logistics, you have to have completed at least 12 UA credit hours. So if this is your first semester here at UA, um, you cannot apply this semester, but you will be able to apply next semester. Uh, application is due September 28th, and to find the application, you can go to our website, coop.sa.ua.edu. Uh, go to the application tab, it's like a Google form and there's going to be a couple essay questions. So these, uh, these questions will be sent to the companies that you decide to interview with. Uh, but the application, as long as you meet the requirements, you'll be accepted into the program. Uh, the re requirements are those 12 UA credit hours and at least a 2.5 GPA. Uh, if you plan to apply, you must attend a co-op info session. You can find these on Handshake. Um, there are some that are in person, some that are, in, that are virtual. So just find whatever works for you because you must attend one of these to um, be eligible to apply. 
Interview day is October 12th. So interview day is kind of crazy. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, there's about 80 companies in one room. You go find your company, you sit down at the table, and intru introduce yourself, and you have a 30 minute interview. And there's a bunch of different interviews going on around you, so it can be kind of loud and crazy, but I found it to be kind of um, relaxing, and just knowing that there are other people who are in this exact same position as, as you, just doing an interview and trying to look your best. Um, so on interview day, like I said, you'll sign up with as many companies as you would like and you'll have those 30 minute interviews. So I think my interview day, I had eight back to back, which is insane, but it's such good practice. If you're not sure whether you want to co-op or not, uh, go ahead and apply and you can decide by the time that um, interview sign up day comes around if you want to actually sign up for interviews. Um, you know, my first time going through the interview day, it wasn't that great because I didn't know if I wanted to co-op or not. So all of my interviews were terrible, um, you know, kind of awkward to sit down with a company that you don't know what they do. So I did not get any job offers and it was good experience in that I did terribly. So it was a good learning experience and, you know, if you don't get any job offers, try again the next semester and hopefully you'll do better, you know, like I did. I got a couple more offers. Uh, also, don't waste anyone's time. So if you're signing up, make sure you know what this company is doing uh, or what they do. And these companies are here to interview serious applicants. Um, so, you know, that first semester I wasn't very serious. I did waste these companies' time, um, but the next semester I knew what I wanted to do. Wanted to do. Again, if you really don't want to co-op, Go look for internships. The career fair is September 22nd. It's a good way to network with people in your industry. Whether you're looking for a job right now or not, it's good to get to know these people and see what the industry is like. I actually met my, my co-op company twice before interview day. So I met them at the career fair and a networking event. So it's good to get your name and your face out there and show them that you're interested in their company. So some quick takeaways. Uh, make sure you submit your co-op application by September 28th. Attend a co-op info session. Make sure you go to the career fair. And then also follow us on Instagram at Vanna ECDC. So here you'll be able to see uh, any development sessions that we're doing or um, just see what's going on with the College of Engineering and uh, what kind of events are happening and how you can go out there and network. We also have mock interviews and resume editing, so make sure you check out the ECDC. And if you have any other questions about co-op, I'll be here for a couple minutes if this is the end of the class. Um, otherwise, you can go to our website and find the ambassador page and you're welcome to reach out to any of us. All of our emails are on there. Um, but right now, does anyone have any questions?